Oh, we fancy up in this Goodwill today. Grand piano, and it's sold. Let's see what they got for it. $750. Okay, don't have room nor the inclination to spend that much money at a Goodwill. That's probably a good deal. Let's take one more look at it. It's all shiny, black, and pretty. Okay, what's on sale today? Purple, white, and whatever was 50% off last week. I think today's the day they change colors. Pops is with me today, out to get his exercise. Lucite. Philippines from Pier 1. I don't know if it's quite cool enough for what I usually try to find. There's two of them though. <laughs> this is Sunday, you guys, so after the weekend or Saturday, and then there's a lot of people here now too. So we'll stop in. It's real close to the grocery store. Not expecting a whole lot today, but it's always so fun to look. Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, I better get that, right? Can't read the small print on it. 1981 or something, I don't know. Dollar seventy-nine, 30% off. We better get this. That'll be our first purchase. Cute little kitschy thing. I think that's an Avon. Just the critters. I'm not going to get carried away. Just the critters, you guys. Those are vintagey. Hunting dogs. Can't read the birthmark very well. $2.99. There's two of them. That's a maybe. Yeah, that's a maybe. Let me see what else is here and think about that. Maybe check comps on something like that. I'm not hurting for merchandise. Looked at that last time. That's chipped, but we'll look at it anyways, okay? Since I'm just kind of lollygagging today so Dad can have his energy. I mean exercise. <laughs> Sorry, multitasking. <laughs> That's chipped. And it's been pretty well picked over. And I don't think the stalkers work. Oh, maybe they do. I do see cards. Yes, the stalkers are working. Wait a minute. They're either working or pulling. Sometimes because of the color change on Sunday, they pull instead of putting stuff out. I'm going to put this in the cart and look up that name. <laughs> Hi, little babies. That's cute. Pet party. This sign. I'll put that up front. Because those are iffy. And I want to find one more of the cup. Oh, boy. I don't know what this is either, so let's double check this when we get to a quiet corner, which will have to be at the patio on this Goodwill. <laughs> I think I passed on something similar like this in Arco, yeah, at the other Goodwill last week. <laughs> Chippy poo. Wait a minute, here's Pops. What'd you find, Pops? Um, first, say hi. Say hi to everybody at YouTube because they ask about you. What'd you find? Some well, I'm going to put my medical papers in one of these and I'm getting these other two because the rings don't always close right. Okay, so you need some of those inserts again, maybe those plastic inserts, maybe. Hey, while you're here, also say hi to your brother Bert and Aunt Shirley because they watch. Hi. 
<laughs> so stay high. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's Pops getting his exercise. <laughs> Let's go back to thrifting. We'll probably mosey around and go out to the patio. anything. Wait a minute, I want to make sure this isn't a Viking something or other. No. I keep an eye out for Viking stuff and Denmark, Norwegian type things for Becky as well. For she's, I told you guys before, she's part of another club. Oh my gosh, when my dad sees this, he's going to want it. Hang on, because he could clip it onto his little apparatus that he's got taped to his cane and his um, flashlight. Hang on a minute. Hey, Dad. Oh, he loved it. Oh, gosh, the scribbles that you can't read. People be so proud of your stuff. I know locally people know who you are, but when things travel around, you know, but that's pretty nice. That's pretty nicely done. $5.99. I think I'll get it. I like the drip glaze. I know I'm holding it by the handle, but you know, testing it too before I buy it. Oh my goodness, what is that? Hang on. Only $7.99? Well, only $7.99. Come here, Pops. Since you're right there. Here's what I mean. Dad's got his cane all rigged up for night walks with Steve. That's a flashlight. And this is where he will put a cup. So I, t I remind them no microwave. But sometimes when we go to places, you know, he can fill it up and get a drink. And our Goodwills used to have coffee bars until the till 2020. So see, it's got a carabiner on it. <laughs> How much was it? $1.79. All right, Dad, I just was showing him. <laughs> All right, let's go back to this gorgeousness. That's some nice looking brass. I am shocked at that low price for this thrift store. I don't see a name on it anywhere. Oh yeah, I do. Hang on, made in Taiwan. So this is probably um, 60s, 70s, 70s, right? Getting that. Put that in the booth. Okay, that's a nice piece there too. That's a nice piece of pottery. $7.99. Wonder who did that. Just because it has a barcode doesn't mean it's not like 70s or something though. I kind of like that. See how big it is? Oh, I just can't make up my mind. I think someone would like that. Okay, okay, we're in this aisle. We just had some carnage. There's a little bit of ruckus in the vases, so I'll go back to that later. Just looking for any American Brilliant since it's possibly gonna pick up in the trending. This, I, this stuff here, wait a minute, there's another one, yeah. I'd have to look it up and refresh my memory. Let's see the back, so that's a clue. And then the size of the cubes, because I know like Fostoria did some of this, but so did some other people. That kind of cube thing. You know how it gets copied. Let's see. Second Triumph Pillar Candle Lead Crystal Marquee by Waterford Crystal Made in Germany. I mean, I could tell it had some lead crystal, but that certainly didn't look like the high quality for Waterford. So let me see if that's a diffusion line, like what they do in clothing, a diffusion line where a well-known maker or designer, like if we're talking clothes, will make a more affordable line. Oh, that's a cutie pie. It's kind of newish looking, yeah. That's cute though for um, that holiday. Oh, I want it to be a little older or a little bit better done. Oh, and I wanted to tell you the reason I want to look at that Coke is because I took in two Coke items last week and they both sold yesterday at the booth. I 
I don't know La Crusette offhand. Okay, this isn't, but it had kind of that look from far away. Not quite the quality though. I think a little too shiny, but just wanted to double check. It's kind of easy breezy today. Give dad time to walk around, right? Better homes and gardens. Oh, hi you guys. Why does there have to just be one of you? <laughs> Lake Tahoe. I'd love to have some of this, but that's $25. I usually buy big slabs of granite when I see them. Anything cool up there? There's a green one. I might check that. That is Silex, so that's vintage, but the top's missing. Okay, let me check this out. Okay, that does not glow. I thought it was a little bit too already neon green, but wanted to double check it. It does look somewhat vintage though. $3.99. And I would be tempted to get it. It's got mold mark numbers on it. I would be tempted to get it if it had maybe optics or something on it. So yeah, see there's a cart, but I can't tell if it's coming or going. Yellow. Oh, it might be coming because they would be pulling they would be pulling red um, it's tan now they would be pulling the tan ticket so we'll check back to see and the most I would do is point at something if there happens to be someone working it and say can I please have that otherwise I'm very respectful George was trying to teach me something when he was here the other week about what to look for in these. I think it was Tervis or Trevis. So I still need to do research so I can know what he's talking about. Wait a minute, I think I know what that is. Yes. Hang on. Yes, see it? Real subtle. In Boston there, like a birthmark. Starbucks, $4.99. So, and this looks like a Christmas edition, so that definitely needs to be checked out because there still are some Starbucks things that are bringing good money. Okay, mug life segment. Oh my goodness. Mug shot pointing up at you. Okay, that's kind of crazy. I don't. Man, there's a Star Trek. Let's check that out. I think I'm gonna have to get this one. 1992. How much is it? 2.99 and 30% off. I backed up to put it in my cart, you guys. Paris. There's a Mickey back there. Might be a little older. See anything? I saw the smileys. Yes, you guys. Sorry. I did see the smileys. There's another Starbucks. Just kind of a generic one. I think I found the one I want. And this time I'm actually going to buy it. Too small to read any of that. Valentine's. Yeah, not really the kind of smiley I want. You know, not really smiling. <laughs> okay, I think that was a good job for mug life. Check out the glasses. Something cool, something vintage, something brand named, or fire and light. There's a really cool fire and light glass. Okay, it's about this size. What is it, a low ball? And it's got like, see how that has like fake ice in it? And now this is coming from the bottom. But then the fire and light, it's a little bit more prominent inside. And it's called On the Rocks. And the last two I sold, I think I got $250 for. I don't see anything I want. This. That looks like King's Crown, but in yellow. I don't think I've ever seen it in yellow. 
All right. These are etched. Very super thin and cute. Not quite my jam. Back in clothing. I do love the artwork here, but they seriously price it up. So this isn't the place where I can get artwork, but I do look at it just to make sure I don't miss something that even though I might have to pay $30, $40 is going to be worth it. Oh, hello, 90s. David Warren. This might even be a little earlier. Made in USA, Union Label. See under there, it's a Union Label. This might even be a little earlier. Some kind of broadcloth, do you call that? Special pins. Yep, see the zipper, <laughs> hidden zipper. And there's a Melissa, made in USA. Melissa Petites. That looks very 90s. Oh wow, that's still new too. It was $68 back whenever. Let's see if I can tell what store. Nope, I can't. Coat dress. Remember those? I wore one in the 80s late 80s I see something in here this is modern sheer sleeves this actually would work for I mean it's new contemporary contemporary but this kind of thing would be you could say the style like if someone said you're going to an 80s party, you could do this. 90s, you could do this. 2000s, you could do this. Yes, bodycon dress. Bodycon or body conscious. This has a mod style, but cute little pocket in the back. Pleats. Well, this might be a tennis dress or something. Hang on. Fairway and Greens. This is newer. Made in China. This is probably a golf dress or a tennis dress. Stretchy fabric. I dropped something. Hang on. Okay, all fixed. Cali Mac. I think this has a little bit of resale value. This kind of thing is for like resort wear, cruise and resort wear, swimsuit cover up and whatnot. Ivanka Trump. That looks like an 80s, 70s, 80s. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Who's this? softly something softly you think this would be cottage core right and you might could sell it to someone who's doing that look but make no mistake most of the young girls that are doing the cottage core look they want it something like that but yet maybe with a little updated twist they still want to be cool you get my drift so maybe they might upcycle that or someone would still kind of do it. Flax. This is, uh, I used to sell their jackets pretty well. Same kind of material. Their dresses go from anywhere from like $5.99 all the way up to maybe like, I don't know, $12.99 maybe more if it's something they think is really special. But every once in a while I noticed this location anyways. When they get overstocked on dresses, they'll start putting them out like at five and six ninety-nine. Oh, that's sweet. That's still new too. Cinderella Divine. I was gonna say that's just kind of a timeless. Let me hang it up. That's just kind of a timeless look. That could do Hollywood glam so easy. How much is that? I like it. Fourteen ninety-nine and thirty percent off, and it's brand new. I like to pick out things for stage performers too, theatrical. Why I look at stuff like that. Okay, a few more in the clothing and then I think I'll move on. Go look at Afghans. This isn't bad. 
this deconstructed mixed fabrics look. It's a few years old, but you could still do it and not, you know, have your friends laugh at you. But if your friends are laughing at you, hey, get new friends, right? Now this, let me hang this up. This almost has anthropology vibes. I don't know what that says. Let me check the tag. Looking for the RN number. Okay, no, it's not. It sure looks like some of the companies they use to make things for them, and that could be a possibility. Now this, you can still wear. This is still in style. This reminds me of 70s, and it's popular now again. That's pretty. And it has an underdress slip with it, size large, $5.99. Oh, I was actually thinking about getting this, but it's ripped. That looks like Indian or tai Taiwan or Japanese. All right, I think that's enough for clothing, you guys. Oh, wait a minute, here's some kitty cats. Let's see what we have going on here. H&M, darn. Let me come in close. See, all over print, repeat print. But H&M, they try to copy the designers, but it's just always so cheaply done. Never really fits right, like the pattern. Nobody took the time to make a good pattern when they were copying. I just, I just can't. There's another kind of designer copycat. Real cheap. Chinese import. All right, I'm going to move on. I'll just show you guys the artwork. I'm not gonna look at clothes anymore. I'll show you guys some of the artwork. I am peeking down as I'm moving the fabrics just in case. Oh, this one's cute though. Someone's picture blown up. That's cute came out to the patio where it's quiet so I could check some stuff and um oh yes Raku awesome that's a nice piece let me set it up and show you guys that's nice I find a lot of Raku here in Colorado so I was wanting to check this stuff and then I'll let you guys know. Okay, here are the verdicts. Okay, this piece is a diffusion line by Waterford, so we're gonna put that back. It's only worth about 15. This I think I'll go ahead and get. It's only $1.99. It depends on exactly where this came from, on how much it's worth. I'm just gonna get it and put it in the booth. Oh my gosh, I wasn't going to tell you guys I'm getting yet another sheer t-shirt. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention that. This Starbucks is 2020 called Pinecone, so it's still relatively new. I kind of want to put it in my booth for Christmas though. I'm going to go ahead and put that back because I couldn't find another one. This one is Boot Hill Pottery. Boot Hill Pottery. With the moose on it. I don't know. This would probably sell for about 15 or so. So I think I'll put that back too, but I'm going to get this. Okay. I'm going to get all that. I'm going to round up Grandpa. I hope he's had a good time and then we're going to go to the grocery store. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.